You'll always notice the supplies for painting over on the counter by the sinks and the windows. Over here we've got some brushes, some water containers, some palettes, and then as we transition to the other side of sink two, what you'll notice that we need right now is a tub of our bottles of tempera paint. When I'm getting ready to grab the paint, um, there's a big frustration. Of course, I don't want you to waste paint once you open it up to actually just get it really close to your palette and just put a little bit of paint down on the palette. We will close this off. We will move on to our next color doing the same thing. You'll notice you really don't need very much to begin with. When choosing your brushes, pay attention to the job that you need to do. In some instances, a really large brush like this is gonna be perfect. If we're on a big project, painting a background, for example, in some instances, this smaller brush is going to be much more ideal. One of the things I wanna notice is that all of the brushes right now are handle side down. Our water containers are these fancy little contraptions here. Next we need some paper towels. I don't know why, but I often just grab. If the paper towels aren't coming out of the dispenser, there's a little handle over here. You can flip that to get another one out of them. Now, when I'm setting up to paint, since I'm right-handed, I normally set it up in the same way every time. I have my container of water here that usually goes on my paper towel so I can clean my brushes right here. I have my little bits of paint over here and I like to have my palette on the right hand side of whatever I'm painting on, be it my sketchbook, my project, or a worksheet. And then I have my, my brushes over here as well. When I'm grabbing my paint, I just want a little bit on the edge. I can always come back and get more paint later. It's the, kind of the same thing. I didn't want a ton of paint over here um, from the bottles. I can always come back and get more later. Now, as I come through here, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm not holding the brush way back here. This is not a good way to get a good application of paint and to be able to do things. So I'm going to hold my brush down towards the metal ferrule, and I'm going to be holding the bristles away from me. And notice how along an edge, I'm resting my hand on the piece of paper, and I'm going a lot slower across the edge. Now, as I come through here, and right now it's just one color, there's a couple of things that I want to pay attention to. I want it to be smooth, and I want it to be opaque. Opaque meaning that I can't see through it. Um, as I get towards this edge over here, what I do not want to do is paint this edge as my brush is coming towards me. Generally speaking, we're going to be working in a small enough, on a small enough scale that I'm going to be able to turn my pieces around and super slow again, turning my brush over to get the paint getting right up towards that edge. Smoothing out the application so that it looks really nice. So a couple of things that we do not want to do. One of which being to just put the paint down in a super thick and sloppy way. Coming in across this, this is no good. So I'm gonna take the excess paint that's on my brush, wipe it off on my paper towel, and I want to smooth this out. Thick paint doesn't look good, and especially with this temper paint, it looks especially bad. So this application here, way better. Now by contrast, when I come over here to clean my brush out, 
I'm gonna kind of get it as clean as I can in the water. Get over here, and actually, I just I want my brush to be as dry as possible, so that when I come back to painting and I come back here for some of my red, I have the same type of application. Nice and smooth. If I don't do that, watch what happens. What you'll notice is a totally different kind of application. And this, let's zoom in here. Right, this is terrible, it's watery. Even if I come over on my paper towel and I try to dry off my brush, and I come back through here and I do this, you can see as I start to paint, it's not going to cover up over there. This watery application is terrible. Another thing to pay attention to when I'm color mixing is if I want to take and make something a little bit lighter, what I'm going to do is to pull a color from the side. I'm not going to, when I have paint on my brush, dip it right into the middle of something because that will contaminate the whole thing. What I want to do is grab just a little bit of white or color from the side and then come over and begin mixing. If I need a little bit more, I can take a little bit more. I'm getting the brush off of, the paint off of the brush as it starts to work its way up the bristles because what I'm aiming for is a homogeneous mixture of paint. Homogeneous meaning consistent and the same throughout. When I come to apply it to the piece of paper, I have a smooth application of color and value along with a nice clean edge adjacent or next to what I already painted. In terms of cleaning up at the end, I have several brushes here that I've been using for the demo. I'm going to start to wipe them off here and make sure that they are mostly clean. And then I'm going to take these over to the sink for the next step. So in terms of cleanup, there's a couple of things. First, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make sure these are really well rinsed out. If they're particularly bad, I might take a little bit of soap in my palm and I might take the brush and I might get it in there and work some of the soap in there. You can see how some color is still coming out of that. I'll do that with each of my brushes. Make sure I get the soap out of here. Make sure I form the bristles the way that they are supposed to be. Clean out the water container. Give it a quick rinse, shake that out, set it to the side. Always, always, always handle side down. Water container, back where you got it. Now we have to deal with our palette. But I will turn this on. There should be a scrub brush someplace around near. I like to have the palette going away from myself, using a scrub brush to get all of the paint. What you need to do is to make sure the palette is paint free. Notice how it's not over here yet. And notice how some of the paint washed over onto the side. I will put it back with the rest of the palette making sure they are stacked vertically so that they can drip dry into the tub. Then finally, paper towels to make sure that the mess from water splashing is completely dry all the way around the sink. And then these I will throw away. <laughs> 